folks, we're, uh, we're out for a bit of an evening ramble. Um, main reason, show off the new merch. You can see. Yep. And also give the new, uh, the new gimbal a test drive to see how it performs on, on the off-road and keeping, the, keeping things level. So, let's go take a look, folks. Then what we'll do first, we'll head up to the bomb dump. Yep. And you can see a bit of that, and then you'll understand what I was trying to point out the other day. Yeah, yeah. What we couldn't see at... Uh, do there. Mm hmm. So also on test is is your new light. Wish.com. You'll yeah. see it in the series. So we're gonna have to have a look in a, an air raid shelter then. Yeah. Somewhere dark. Somewhere dark. You see how dark it is with the wish.com light. I'm sorry. We know what's gonna happen. Yeah. That's why I put spray on. You, you decided you didn't want it. And that's, oh. and that's also why I've relocated my light to the bottom. And when you walk somewhere where there's all the midgets, hey. they're not all in your face hey. when it's up here. Yeah. That's kind of with that one because uh, I didn't know the light was going to get that. Yeah, it took a bit of fannying about, but we got there. It's a nice little spot. Nice and cool, so it's been whatever degrees it was. So this road was actually shut during the war. It was part of the airfield, to be fair. Mm. As we get further up here, we have the fusing points for the bombs, sort of either side of the track. Yeah, the old car that I came across is actually too similar to the other one. <laughs> you seen that? It's been a thing. Mm. It could have been, yeah, look, can you see the brickwork over there? Yeah. That's one of the fusing points, so that's Probably a bit of road coming <coughs> back onto here. Yeah. And those little tractors that are. Because would you have had a turnaround for it? Because they used to be on a long. No, this is where they drove through these. It'll, it'll have come in at the other end. Right. And if you come over here. There was like a sunk down bit. Yeah. And that, it probably had like a listen up type on. over it. Yeah. yeah. And the, the bombs that have been fused. Hmm. Not really much of them to see now. But. Use that back wall up there. There's some wall up there. You see the red bank? Yeah. And there's one at the other side. The well, sad thing is, people won't really think about it, will they? No. Come walk in the uh, whatever. Another one at this Not side. Whatever. 
there was actually a little road driving off into there. This, you can see like the footprints of them, a little bit of brickwork, but not much. Yeah. I wish you could have come round here just after the war. You know, when it actually looked like an airfield and not a forest. Yeah, well, it's still tidy. Yeah, we've got squirrels. Look at that cool house. You know where they're going? <laughs> I'd open it, it's mum if that's what's going to make that. <laughs> Yeah, you see over here, we've got another one. Mm. A little bit. Well, no, it was just fusing. Just, just, just roll them in, shove it in, and away you go. So we're on the bomb trolleys mm. by this point. So this will have just been one of those buildings that you drive through. Yeah. They stick the fuses in, back on the track, then up to the perimeter track and to the dispersal points. Yeah. I'll maybe have to put a little uh, thing in the video showing where we are now yeah. on the site plan. Another one there. Yeah. So they were literally sort of all dotted along this area. Yeah, that's more of a. Yeah. Well, I suppose if you were bombing up 20 aircraft, that's a lot of movement. Yeah. And it all comes from up here at the bomb dump. Yeah, how many have you got to a bomber? Mm. How many bombers is there to a bomber? Depends on the load, really. But quite often you see like two trailers and, and then another trailer with a fucking yeah, big so cookie or something on it, yeah. No comment. It doesn't work out much during the day. When you look on the site plan though, when you sort of get into those areas, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. So yeah, I was there's one. I wonder if there was two there. Well, it gives you options, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want congestion when trying to bomb things up. The road's actually in quite good nick here. Considering. Oh. Well, down our road, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if they. They can actually pen them in that area, can't they? Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, there you go, that's the U of the bomb dump. Looking round. Site on trucks from yeah. Selby or wherever, what's nearest from me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It could, I'm not sure where it'd have been unloaded. 
probably sidings and Selbian things yeah. where I don't know if I saw. Yeah, I mean, some of the uh, probably one of the old lines that used to come out of Selby, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a very uh, pearly looking. I know where there's a better looking one. Yeah. I'm not convinced it's actually real. No. It didn't have enough, is it? And it, it might be. And it looks very much like the one at the Elvington Air Museum when you drive in. Right. And I wondered if they'd taken like a mould of it and copied it. Maybe. I mean, it's not even off of Halifax. No. Oh, nice to see you all the same. There's a crack coming there, look. Yeah. Well, huh. you've only got to look there. You can see the pins there where they've had it repaired before. Yeah, yeah, I've already come across some bits of steel which might just create a nice thing to sit on. Yeah, the airfield did get a brief mention. Not a lot. That's the sheep. Hmm. So. All we'll do if we walk up here. This, you know, the little lane thing that we've walked down on that other location. Yes. And I said, look, you can see the humps. Yeah. So that's what you've got here. Yeah. Well visible. Visible yeah. difference it makes when it's been kept. Okay. I'm pretty sure, actually, between some of these somewhere, there's actually a picnic table. Yeah. So yeah, basically there's like three sets of these bays. Yeah. They were delivered at that side, so they will come off the truck at this side. This is a platform isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, these are the unloading platforms, which to be fair are in good, good condition. I've delivered to worse. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, you'd have had the trucks coming round this side and the hooks down at the bottom of the wall there these ones yeah. were to help actually get it off the truck yeah. and roll it down the slope and then stop, stop the, your trailer from moving yeah, but then you had like two lengths of rope I think they used and it'd go around the bomb then as it went down you could like use the rope to oh, right. sort of roll it down I suppose it saved it rolling down onto you when squashing you which yeah tends not to be too conducive with the yeah. living so yeah you've got like a few sections of these on a big loop yeah the tractors would have got the bombs and they'd have been on that inner road yes and from here they'd have gone out and they'd have gone out and where we've come from to the fusing points. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What's that? Is that just a ditch? Yes. I think it's actually even down on the site plan as a ditch. Let's try and get an idea of the width of it. If that... Well, you bear in mind, 1940s trucks no, weren't that nice. big. There'd have been things like the old Bedfords and that. So you probably find that this actually... It's probably wide enough, isn't it? Yeah, it probably does stop somewhere about here. Yeah. Peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. Well, except that plane. Or whatever it is. Yep. Where are protection? Oh, of course, you've got your protected hat on, haven't you? I've got a real one in my bag. Yeah. Protected hat. 
give yourself more brain damage. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. Well, what's missing a bit? Is that, I wanted all them papers, Ah, user. disabled access, yes. Is there a disabled access yeah. bench? Got a Even though, well, I mean, I suppose people can drive here, but to actually get from where we've passed here in a wheelchair would be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, because the gate was closed, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't like to be shoving you through that one. Hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> should, we, uh, should we leave the bomb dump? Because it, it's a repetition all the way around. Fascinating. No, we're not going to bother the sheep. I'm camouflaged. I got arrested the last time. Well, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, the sheep pop up at random places. Sometimes we look in the uh, bomb star buildings. Yeah. And they'll just pop out of nowhere. You sometimes see a dead one. Yeah. Remember the way that. Oh, I know what you mean. When there was one outside the wall. Yeah. And you could smell the death. Yep. Yeah, actually, but these, uh, They're not. And I think. Pegs, I don't think there's any missing. No. Considering they've been sat. We'll probably go quite a distance into the honest. I think they do actually, I think they're about a foot long. Yeah, yeah, they'll have to have yeah. a bit of grip. Yeah, there used to be a building somewhere here to do with the bomb dump, but sadly that's also gone. As soon as the merch is black with that on it, yeah, we also get some stickers made like that, and then we can go put them on the black sheep. And they look like they're wearing merch. Now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get him a hat. <gasps> with the cut out for the horns. There's a bit of a protective one so they can go fighting each other where it's like mating season. Oh, Jacobs? Nah, we're just on the rear Be bridge, this is Jacobs. Here we go, found my boy kicking in. I don't know if it's on that one. I'm going to try. Oh, I supposed to be selecting that. I'm going to have to add that later in the edit. <laughs> So they just keep dropping to the floor out on the trees, don't they? There's a species here. There is. Well, you never know if we're lucky, we might see some deer. There's one or two kicking about. I think you missed an elk's deer. I think you meant to finish it. <laughs> Like a woodland thing here as well, like the well, wee beasties in it. Oh yeah, you know I mean? uh, and people come and play like shooting games and things. And <coughs> a bit of all sorts, to be fair. Right. Obviously, we came up that one. Yeah. And now we're going to go down this one. This actually leads us to Airman's accommodation area. So this is Airman's accommodation. Oh, it was. <laughs> and there's some building functions. You can see one there. That's the building. One there. That's the path going to it. Yeah. And just over here, there's an air raid shelter. Still got a bit of the base sort of thing, haven't you? Yeah. The path. Yeah, if we come around this side, there's a Stanton air raid shelter.
Yeah, looking at these bases, I'd say they were temporary brick construction. Yeah. So, there we shall. You want to go in first and put your light to the test? <laughs> Exploring a wish dot comfort. It's a series, a series on my channel. Is that clean? No. No, I don't think the cleaner's been in today. Here he is, Bodger testing his light out. Good silence for you if you care. Got little mozzies coming out of there. So what can you see? Where the seats were. Does it light it up? That's the main thing. Well, it lights it up. So we're, we're a cracker lackey. And at the far end, we've got another conventional entrance, haven't we? Yeah, yeah it's a double-ended one, this. Let's just... There we go. That's the difference between wish.com and the proper line. She don't flood much though, she only gets a couple of feet up and then it's... Yeah, I have seen this one dry. But at the moment it's looking a bit... A bit manky. A bit damp. Yeah. Bit damp. Oh, nice to see. And good nick and all, isn't it? And something we, out a bit there at the top. Something we need to replicate at the museum. You know, in with the, for the yeah. seating. Yeah. It'd be nice to uh come back with a tip maybe. Yeah, but it would be nice to actually make it as it should be. Yeah. Are you a cameraman? Camera person? Mm. The YouTubers. <laughs> so there he is looking at the other entrance. First one for Andy and that bright. Yeah. Do I think it will stand for Mercedes Benz? Right, let's move across to the perimeter track and back up to where we came from. Yeah. There he is, dazzling everybody with the new light. Oh, even better. You two can go back, Don't know about get the car and come here. <laughs> dazzling, dazzling with the new merch. Dazzling with the merch. Yes, got the merch, got the hat on. I guess you can wear one of my types. My manly chest. And it goes around the six pack, lovely. Yeah. The potatoes and the sausages and everything else in that carrier bag. It's all paid for. Right, we're going to head that way through the trees and we'll bring that a dispersal point. Yeah. So, that's good. Yeah, the airman's accommodation went further that way. There's another one you can see there. There's one, I believe, down in the further into those trees, and another air raid shelter. Yeah. But uh, we can come back to that at another point. It is better in winter. The fact you can see more, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not too bad, is it? No. Like um, the other location where it was the other week. Oh yeah, yeah. You could have said that place was anything really. So yeah, still a few drains and things evident. This lesson is at the uh, the strap away. So yeah, so we're that there would be the airfield. Yeah. And where the trees are just into this field is where the end of that runway is. That was in my video from the other, yeah, other yeah. week. Yeah. 
I've noticed on a lot of YouTube videos by explorers and things, if there's a gate, they always make a point of filming it being shut. Well, the thing is, this is also a kissing gate. Maybe not. It's called a kissing gate because you could go either side of it with your beloved when you was out courting. Let's not. <laughs> Come here. I think on that bombshell, we'll uh, move along. Yep, get shut. Got a big spring on it. There was more buildings in the field, just at the edge there. Yeah. I think with air raid shelters and some other bits and pieces. And in the trees, there is a bit of evidence of you know, sort of brick rubble and things. So here we are at a dispersal point. Yep. Yeah, you got one, two, three. Four. That one's the middle one. This one? Yeah. And they'll be in a circle all the way around. I think quite a bit of it is actually covered up, or it's been broken up. Yeah. Oh yeah, then we're straight out onto the perimeter again. Well, I think now would be a good time to go look at another building and See how good you wrote uh, talk to you in a oh, different environment. Oh, yeah, it is. yeah. Oh, bad it is. It's the whole idea of the series. Yeah. Just get you out exploring, folks. Out in the countryside like tonight. Yeah, it's a nice night. Nice night. Nice night for a walk. You don't have to spend a fortune. So, that's the perimeter track, folks, and we're going just through there. Can you see it yet? Just about. Just about. <coughs> I think it's down as an ME plinth, which is mechanical electrical, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quietly hidden in the trees. No bother to nobody. The crack in the door impresses me. <laughs> that, that must be from water or something. Good thing. Yeah. Yeah, what you reckon scars that, folks? Yeah, that's just one little room, and then you've got this one, which is a bit more spacious. Well, wow, you got some creatures in there, were you? Oh. Yeah, they're a strange little window, those, aren't they? Oh, no. where, it, where it's just open in the middle, rather than yeah. the hole. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like them. Have you seen the tree there, how it's grown? <laughs> Been there a few days. Yeah. So yeah, we've got another one here. This one's a bit bigger.
Excuse me, you're going to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I think those windows are getting worse, to be fair. It seems to be less and less of them. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they've done well to last this long. Yeah. Oh, my God, look at the ceiling. Right now, the door. Yeah, I'll say I'm going to make a body swerve out of this one. <laughs> to the perimeter track and then uh, back up that way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We used to go back the way we came to be fair. So everybody's getting hungry now so we're heading back to the car. At least I've given this, uh, this gimbal a test drive, see how it performs. Let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments regarding the footage. So just enjoy the walk back to the kit. Like and subscribe. Yeah, so you've got the hanger in there. And this bit of track is where you'd go around to it. And then further down the track was a dispersal point. Yeah, there were quite a few down this end. Yeah. Which side are we at now? Which uh, uh, north, north. Where are we? We're on the south side of King Ruddin Lane. Yeah. We'll show you on the map folks. King Ruddin Lane being where that van is up there. Yeah. So you've got another air raid shelter there. Yep. Again, double ended. Yeah. There is one on site that does have a hatch. Right. But that's of the rarity. Yeah, and it doesn't have its hatch. Okay. You're only good nick that, aren't It is, yeah. And you can see quite a lot of that one. Yeah. Well stuck out the ground. Yeah, they ain't exactly done a very, uh, very good job covering it over if that's all it has. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it could be it could be years of rain on it, just washed it off. Yeah. We, uh, we'll, we'll not bother going in there because it'll be just like... Full of mob. Yeah. Yeah, it does make a nice walk. It does make a nice walk, believe me. We get a little bit further, the uh, harmonisation range is just over there. Yeah. There's actually a big mound, which I don't think it is the harmonisation range. I'm not sure on that. Well, that's where it was. A bit more of a rabbit area, this than squirrels. Yes, and then down that one there, there's another dispersal point. Yeah. It's all hidden in there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Get your eyes. There's a big old piece of wooden brick or something there, whether it's where that's. It's, from. I would say it's from drainage and all sorts, and they've dug yeah. that out, which I believe was to stop people coming and yeah, learning how to drive. Because yeah. you could literally obviously drive in and drive up here. Yeah. It's quite a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can see that mound there. Yeah, right. It's a good size though, isn't it? Yeah, well, it, I mean, it could have been the material from behind it. Hmm. Well, for when things are badly uh, things adjusted. A bit off the <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for this video. A little test drive of the merch and the new torch and the gimbal. Stands up to sweat it, all right. Yeah, yeah. You know, they aren't covered in patches. No, that is true. Across the six pack or anywhere else. So, thanks for watching this non-eventful video and uh, catch you on the next one. See you later, Bodgers. <laughs>